suggested that the legislature passed and the governor has signed a bill that is a wide open door to racial discrimination and to economic discrimination for allowing and actually asking police to stop people based on how they look and based about judgments about who may or may not be here legally. to be asking them immigration questions. So those people are still going to be encouraged to call the police and report those crimes. We don't want that happening. What about the perception, though? Well, the reality is one thing, but people sometimes uh, have a different idea. and Maybe victims won't call in. Are you worried at all about that? I, I'm not at this point because I don't think there's any data to prove that, that that's, that's an issue. And, and certainly, and I think what we've got to do from the public perception is absolutely echo that those people are not going to be questioned about who, where they're from is that we want them to report those crimes, that we want them to talk to us, and we're not going to be asking questions about that. Now, already in, in Tarrant County, we were talking about this earlier, about 200 detainers, you say, are placed every month. That's about right. And there are two ICE agents handling those cases. They mentioned that, you did, that a lot of times these people are released with a court date from ICE. That's right. Now, this bill might encourage you guys to keep them locked up until ICE can actually have them in court. Is that going to bog down the system? No, not at all. We, is it right now, like I said, it wouldn't change anything, is that we have an agreement with ICE that we keep them up to 48 hours and then they're, they're released and ICE responds generally within 12 to 13 hours. They're, they're generally very prompt and very quick about that or they issue those court orders. Sheriff, I want to read you a tweet sent out tonight by Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins uh, tweeting that SB4 makes us less safe, he says. Ties the hands of police chiefs, sheriffs like you. It prevents them from requiring their officers to focus on local law enforcement priorities. We hear where you stand already. Is, is he way off base there? I, I think so. I, I think that I understand it's frustrate where he might be frustrated, but this law, if Dallas County, which I, I believe that they are, they're operating within those ICE detainers and they're honoring those, then nothing really changes. And far as the issues in the field, there's a huge discretion there for officers to ask any of those questions, and it can only be if they're criminally detained for something. These detainers only take place inside the brick and mortar of the jail.